What's up YouTube, welcome back to another video on my channel Skotrix and today as you can see we are back on NBA 2K21 Next Gen for another build guide video and in today's video I'm going to be showing y'all how to build the prime Carmelo Anthony build. This is one of the best small forward builds in the entire game. It has amazing scoring, it has good playmaking, good defense, it's a really really good all around small forward build, good for any situation, any game mode, anything and in this video I'm going to be showing y'all how to build it so without any further ado let's get right into the video here. Alright, so on this first screen, nothing really matters too much. The only thing that's important is you want your position to be a small forward, the hand, jersey number, name, none of that matters. You can set that up however you want, then go ahead and click continue. Now for the body settings for this build, first off for the height, you want to go up to 6 foot 8 right here. This is Carmelo Anthony's height in real life and it's also a really really good height for this build and for this game in general. You can see some attributes go down, some attributes go up. Don't worry about that too much, it's going to change a lot as we go through these next few right here. So just 6 foot 8 right there, that's the perfect height for this build. Then go down to your weight and for the weight you just want to go all the way down to minimum weight, 185 pounds right here. You can see if you bring this up even 1 pound, you lose 1 speed, it goes back to 84. You don't want that, you want to have the 85 speed for this build. And a lot of the stuff that you lose for lowering your weight, like strength and interior defense, really isn't that important anyways. So you're good right here at 185 pounds, minimum weight, that's where you want to be for this build. And then for the wingspan right here, you want to just leave this at 6 foot 11. You could also go up to 7 foot right here, it brings down your mid range and your 3 pointer by 1, but it does bring up your driving dunk by 2. So it's really up to you, but I think 6 foot 11 is the perfect spot for this build. So that's where I'm going to keep it right here. This gives you an 89 three pointer, which will be more than enough with all the shooting badges you get. 92 mid range, again, more than enough. And your driving dunk is still in 91, so you get every single dunk animation in the game. And yeah, you're going to be going crazy. So 6 foot 11 for the wingspan, then for the body shape, this really doesn't matter. You can set this up however you want. It doesn't affect the attributes of the build in any way. All it changes is how the build looks. I'll just go ahead and take Defined because I think it's the closest to Carmelo Anthony. But you can choose whichever one you want. Again, doesn't affect the build, just changes how it looks. Then go ahead and click Continue. Now for the Attribute and Badge distribution for this build. First off, for the Finishing, this is actually one of the few builds that I've ever made where I recommend upgrading Close Shot. It just works for this build, it gives a good amount of badges and you get a little bit of Close Shot which is nice. But for most builds I don't recommend upgrading Close Shot, but for this one I do. Just upgrade your Close Shot to a 60. 6 right here, then go down to your driving layup, you want to max this out all the way, driving dunk, same thing, standing dunk, same thing, and that gives you 17 finishing badges, and you can see you can get a lot of the best finishing badges onto Hall of Fame, and even the ones that you can only get onto gold, do actually go up to Hall of Fame once you get above 95 overall, so you should be good right there with 17 finishing badges, and all of those really really good finishing badges unlocked, then you can go down to shooting right here, for shooting you want to max out your mid range, your 3 pointer, and then put your free throw up right here to a 90. This gives you 25 shooting badges. If you bring your free throw down anymore, you lose a shooting badge. You don't want that. 90 free throw right there along with these two on max gives 25 shooting badges and that is super 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 good. You can see you can get a ton of good badges onto Hall of Fame like Hot Shot, Corner Specialist, all that. And a lot of the good badges you can only get onto gold, but similar to finishing, they actually will go up to Hall of Fame once you get above 95 overall. So you're good with all these shooting badges right here. I promise you're going to be a super, super good scorer, just like Carmelo Anthony in his prime. And yeah, then you can go down to your playmaking right here. First off, for playmaking, for the pass accuracy, you want to bring this up to a 63. That's just so you can get all the extra badges. Then you want to max out your ball handle and your speed with ball just like that and if you move down your play or pass accuracy right here you can see it goes down in a playmaking badge and you don't want that so 63 right there is perfect 79 ball handle so you will get pro dribble moves at 97 overall which on this build will be no problem to maintain once you get to 97 overall you're gonna have no problem maintaining that so don't worry about that you'll have pro dribble moves unlocked you just got to grind a little bit for it and your speed with ball is also really really good so that's nice right there then you can go down to defense right here for defense. First off, you're going to want to max out your perimeter defense. This gets all the way up to an 88 and unlocks clamps onto gold for you right there. Then you can go down to your rebound and you want to max out your defensive rebound right here. And that puts you all the way up to 10 defense badges. And then you can actually move your offensive rebound up to and get that up to 11 defense badges. And you can see you can get a ton of good badges right there. You can get rebound chaser, hot stopper, clamps, a ton of good badges right there. So 11 defense badges with all those ones unlocked will be more than enough. Then you can go down to your physicals right here first off you want to max out your speed then you want to do the same for your acceleration same for vertical and same for stamina here oh no i actually moved my 
close shot too high, so you only want to put your close shot to a 62. You still have those 17 finishing badges, and then you can max out your stamina right there. So really, really good physicals on this build, as well as really good all-around badges with obviously an emphasis on scoring because that was what Carmelo Anthony was really, really good at in his prime. So once you have all of your attributes looking like this, your badges looking like this, you can go ahead and click continue. Now for the takeover for this build, obviously a ton of personal preference here. You really could choose whichever one you want. They're all pretty good. Obviously some of the best ones, finishing moves, easy blow buys. You know, you could take ankle breaking shots if you want to be breaking ankles with this build. I recommend not taking this one right away because you don't even have pro dribble moves. But once you get to 95 overall, you can change your takeover. So maybe you want to change to this one once you get to a 97 and you unlock pro dribble moves. And then the, both of the shooting ones are good. Extreme collapse is really good. And so is enhanced jump shot contest. So yeah, you can really choose whichever ones fit your playstyle the best. I'm going to probably take limitless range as my primary. And then I'll take finishing moves as my secondary. So I have two scoring takeovers, one shooting and one finishing. Very similar to Carmelo Anthony. But again, you can take whichever ones fit your playstyle the best. Go ahead, say yes. And as you can see, boom, three level scorer, shades of Gordon Hayward, DeMar DeRozan and Latrell Sprewell. But it really does play like Carmelo Anthony. As you can see, it has very similar stats to a play like Carmelo Anthony. So it's a really, really good all around small forward build. And now I'm gonna take a quick second and show you guys how to put on the badges for this build. I recommend you stick around for this. You can get two things out of this. You can see the best way to set up the badges and you can also see which badges will get up to Hall of Fame once you get above 95 overall. So these are the final attributes right here. Now let's get into the badges. First off for the finishing badges right here, I'm gonna go ahead and get posterizer onto Hall of Fame. This is what I was telling you guys you can get this all the way up to hall of fame once you get above 95 overall even though it only showed it as gold on the other screen then i'm going to get heat seeker up since i had the finishing takeover on this build heat seeker is a really really good badge if you have a finishing takeover then i'm going to go ahead and do the same with slithery finisher all the way up to hall of fame that's a really really good badge then i'm going to get lob city finisher onto gold if you're not catching lobs you can probably ignore this maybe you want to put it into pro touch or something but for me i'm going to get this onto gold and then acrobat onto silver right here this is a super super underrated badge this year i talked about it a lot in my best finishing badges video so y'all can check that out if you want to but this is how i'm going to set up the finishing badges for this build obviously a little bit of personal preference you might want to set it up different but for me this is how i'm going to do it right here now for the shooting badges obviously you have a ton of shooting badges with this build with 25 so i'm going to go ahead and get deep threes onto gold hot zone hunter onto hall of fame this is one of the ones that gets up once you get above 95 overall Hot shot all the way up to Hall of Fame since I have a shooting takeover. Then I'm gonna get Deadeye onto gold, catch and shoot onto gold, corner specialist onto silver, blinders onto bronze. Then with my last five right here, I'm gonna go ahead and get Green Machine onto silver, volume shooter onto bronze, set shooter onto bronze, and stop and pop onto bronze, just like that. So obviously, so many shooting badges right here. And there is a lot of personal preference as well, but this is how I recommend setting it up. This is a really, really good all around shooting badge setup right here for this build, and really for any build with a similar amount of shooting badges. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and confirm this just like this. Now for the playmaking badges right here, first thing you wanna get quick first step all the way up to gold. Then you can go ahead and get handles for days up to Hall of Fame, especially once you unlock pro dribble moves, you're definitely gonna want this all the way up to Hall of Fame. And then with my last two badges right here, I'm gonna put Unpluckable onto Silver, just like that. This is really all you'll need for playmaking for this build. Obviously you could take Ankle Breaker, Tight Handle, Space Creator, especially once you get pro dribble moves, you might want those. But for me, this is all I really need. I don't need anything fancy. These badges will do more than good enough. So I'm gonna go ahead and confirm this. Now for the defense badges right here, first off I'm going to get clamps all the way up to gold. Then I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing with rebound chasers since you do have a 90 rebound on this build. And if you took a defensive takeover, you're probably going to want to put hot stopper on. But I did not take a defensive takeover, so instead I'm going to put box onto bronze and pick dodger onto gold just like that. This is how I'm going to set up the defense badges for this build. Obviously some personal preference, maybe if you're playing the big man or something, you might want badges like worm or pogo stick. And if you're playing the guard, you may want other badges also like tireless defense. Defender. but for me these are the best badges for a all-around build like this so this is how i'm gonna go ahead and confirm it bang yes and there you guys go that is how you build the carmelo anthony build in nba 2k21 next gen hopefully you guys enjoy if you did make sure you like subscribe to the channel if you're new i upload daily nba 2k21 content build guides jump shots tips and tricks all that and i also stream on twitch my twitch link will be down in the description so make sure you go follow me over there but anyways that's gonna be it i peace